Brian, do you have any bias? Coach, you want to make a quick statement then we'll just do Q&A real quick? Well, first of all, our thoughts and prayers continue to go out uh, to Coach Bucky's family and Coach Cerna's family and the Brandstetters as well. Um, I thought today uh, got much deeper than, than just the basketball part of it. You know, I thought we had a, a chance to pay honor today. And I was very, very proud of our kids. I was very uh, proud of our coaches. The, the work that our staff has done from, from Bill Annan to Richie Henderson to Amber Littleton, all the way down to our strength coaches and all that, have, have just shown what type of people they are and how lucky we are to be around those type of folks. I just told our, our players that I've been fortunate over the years to be surrounded by uh, a lot of good players and have a lot of success. And I've never been more proud of a group than I was today. Did, did we play like we were capable of? Definitely not. And I think these kids will tell you. But it was a step. We'd been off the floor 13 days. They'd gone through a, a, a big, big tragedy. But as I said, it's, it's much, much deeper and, than a basketball game. And I'm so proud of these kids. I'll take any questions. If Jim, what did it mean to you to look up and see Coach Bucky's parents as well as his wife and kids there? Well, you know, they're just special people. You know, Coach Coach was a very special person, and and I've known his family and uh, Shelley for close to 30 years, and uh, it just meant a lot to the OSU family and our players and coaches. For them to be here today. Tiffany, what did it mean to you? Um, I think it just—I mean, it just shows how much like this is a family. OSU is a family, and I mean, I've gotten a lot of texts from him and phone calls from the Budkey family, just saying we're still going to be there, support you. And I mean, that's what the Budkey family is. They're a family, and we're their extended family. So no matter what the tragedy, and it's a horrible tragedy that did happen, they are going to come out and support us. Did you feel like some, some healing occurred today, or at least the start of the healing process? I think it's a start. I think it's a start. And, uh, you know, really, really happy that the, the people came out the way they did uh, to uh, pay honor to the, the four that we lost. And, uh, you know, I, I know that made our players feel very good. Jim, I know the game kind of dictated it. Was it your intention to try and get as many of those kids on the floor early? It seemed like you were trying to get all of them out there in the, in the mix pretty quick. Well, Robert, uh, uh, you know, I think sometimes emotional fatigue can be harder on you than physical fatigue. And, you know, uh, our kids wanted to do so well that I think we got winded pretty quick. And, that was part of it, but I also wanted to get those kids out and give them a shot. We've got 10 out of 13 freshmen and sophomores, and we're trying to, to see who could play in certain situations. And, you know, it's it kind of a combination of things, Robert. For both uh, Jamie and Tiffany, what was it like for you guys just being back out there and, uh, you know, just not hearing coaches or just not hearing them talking to you? I mean, it was fun getting to play together again. I mean, we've been off, like Coach said, for 13 days and, and practicing, trying to practice hard and trying to control our emotions and this and that. Uh, coming together as a team and knowing that the girl to your right and the girl to your left is going to be there for you and looking up in the stands and seeing everybody, you know, supporting us, I mean, it's huge. That's, I mean, that's who we play for. I think not hearing his voice anymore, it's, it's weird. And it, I mean, it's going to have some, some time to get used to. But I mean, Coach Chattel has been there just as much. I mean, we've, we've heard both their voices in the huddles and every, every time we came back to the huddle. So I think there would be no other person but Coach Chattel's voice if we didn't hear Coach Becky's voice. Tiffany and Jenny both, Coach Chattel just mentioned he knew that there was such a concerted mindset on all your parts to go out and play very hard. Talk about your attitude, and again, Tiffany, uh, you know, your game, I mean, I think you had to feel pretty good about the way you played overall, but both of you talked about that. 
I think all of us want to play hard. I think we want to play in the, in the name of Coach Becky and Coach Serna and the brand setters. I think that we came out with a lot of fire, and I think it kind of showed that we haven't been on the floor. We've been practicing, but we haven't been playing against any opponents lately. So I think we just wanted to come out and play hard. No matter, no matter the mistakes we did, we think we just kept playing through it and kept pushing each other as a team. Uh, yeah, we, I mean, like she said, we support each other, and we believe in Coach Littell, and, I mean, he's our leader, and we're going to follow him. I know for you, Jane, there's so much more to the game than just scoring. How important is hitting that basket? Though? That's something you've worked on, and something Coach Budke wanted to see you improve, the three-point shooting. How important was that personally for you to hit that in the second half? <coughs> you know, Coach Littell drew up the play, and I, I, I had a great passer, and, I just stepped up and knocked down the shot, and I believed if I did miss it, I had my rebounders down there. Coach, is there, a, is there a singular message, either before the game or kind of during the week, that you've been delivering to this team? After this? Well, I think personally, I was helped at the service yesterday when Coach Budke's sister Mickey got up and and uh, she said uh, Kurt would not want any of us to fall apart, and then she said. Uh, but uh, I always believed in telling him, given the big three, you know, believe in God and believe in yourself and believe in your team. And that's kind of what we've been been telling our players. And, and we told them the last couple of days also, you know, that you guys are such great kids and you're very conscious of, of how you act and how you represent yourself. But it's okay to smile. It's okay to laugh out there. It's okay to show positive emotion, that that is not disrespectful. And that's the way uh, Coach Cerna and Coach Budke would have wanted it. So it, it was part of a process, one, getting back on the floor, getting a smile on your face, getting to run up and down. And uh, these are such good kids. They're going to come to work every day, and we're going to get better as the season progresses. Uh, all kinds of emotions. I mean, there's not one specific emotion that you feel. I mean, you got, you're sad, you're happy, I mean, joyful, you're glad to be around great people, great atmosphere. I mean, so it, it changes minute to minute. Jenny and Tiffany, can you guys talk about going up and greeting the, the family afterwards? It seemed like everybody took a minute and they were smiling too. They were very happy to have you there. I mean, we're family, so. <clears throat> I mean, we dedicate every game we play this year to that family and to Coach Stern's family. And I think just by going up there, it shows that we are close, no matter if we're playing a game off the court or on the court. I mean, we're going to go up and acknowledge that they're there and come and help, or coming out to support us. And the rest of our fans that came out today, it was nice to have all that support in Cowgirls for Cowgirl basketball. You guys seemed incredibly poised during the game, considering all that's happened. Was, it, was the locker room afterwards any different? Or? It was a little more emotional, you know. Uh, uh, you know, the kids need to just exhale and, and uh, you know, just uh, there's going to be a, a wide range of emotions this year. And there's going to be certain things at times that, that trigger all of us. And uh, we got to accept that it's okay to cry, it's okay to laugh, and uh, we just got to take a step every day and, and, and try to get a little better each day. Uh, we will try to uh, answer the first question. We will try to reschedule those games. And uh, I'll be in the process of meeting with our administration uh, next week to decide what we're going to do on that. For all three of you, obviously you've got support coming from all over the Oklahoma State family. But I saw on the end of the bench, Jamie Blackman is sitting down there. And he's moving chairs during timeouts. And he's standing up and clapping. He said he came back a day early from his break they don't have to be back till later today. You wanted to be a part of this. Talk, talk a little bit about when you know people are willing to, to make sacrifices to come back and, and, and just help out. Well, you know, that's, that's a very kind gesture. And, and Coach Ford, uh, our men's basketball coach, has been there for us every step of the way. And we've had, we've had uh, counselors here at school uh, you know, they've just had a, uh, had a lot of people that uh, have shown an outpouring of love. And uh, we appreciate that very much. And, and you really, 
understand what somebody's made about when when you go through this and and how they support you and, and how they come to to your aid. Take two more questions. Sure. What was that stand up you know, standing ovation like before the game instead of a moment of silence just to hear that ovation again? Well, we we did the same thing on the memorial on uh, Monday, and that's just coach's personality. You know, he wouldn't have wanted a moment of silence. He wanted to get this place rocking. Jim, what did Shelly say to you at the end of the game when you went out there? We just said that we love each other and, and uh, uh, you know, there's, there's not a whole lot that we haven't talked about or said over the last three or four days and uh, just gave each other a hug and told her that we were really glad that she was here. Thank you all. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Uh, well, I, uh, I I just think this was a great uh, a great game for our kids and for uh, the fans, and uh, it's the best therapy we could have. Uh, I talked to the team earlier this week, and they had practiced, and they said it was just a wonderful practice, and it just kind of made everything sort of uh, I think bearable. Uh, I thought they played with a lot of heart. I, I a lot of energy. Uh, I know this was hard for them. I know it was very hard for Jim Littell uh, and his staff. Uh, but I think everybody just really, uh, really bucked up here and, and played a great game. And I must say to see uh, the Butke family, I just thought it was wonderful for them to show up and, and support, uh, support this team. Uh, I mean, you know, the the, the last few, well, the week they've had is just would devastate any of us. And for them to come out and support these girls was just, I think, wonderful. Um, and I was very pleased to see our men's team out there and, and all the coaches. they just come in from New York. They had a tough time up there for the last couple of games, but they were here and supportive. And so I just think the whole OSU family came together wonderfully. and. Uh, it's not going to be easy. There's going to be a lot of tough, tough times ahead. But I think, as I said uh, last Friday, if we pull together, we'll figure out a way to get get through this. Not get over it, but get through it. Take a couple of questions for President Hargis. Anybody have anything? Burns, can you talk a little bit about just the girls and what they've been through? You said you talked to them. Can you just talk a little bit about them? And yeah, I mean, they not only did they, of course, have the horrible shock of it all uh, Friday morning when they were told very early in the morning, uh, I think probably about 6 o'clock, 6 a.m., they learned about uh, the, the crash. Uh, and then just uh, going through all the heartache of that and dealing with it, and uh, they canceled the games, of course, and, and then uh, they had uh, Miranda's uh, rosary service on on Tuesday, and then of course uh, Kurt's service yesterday. Uh, so, you know they've uh, they've really been dealing with a lot of grief here, and you know they're they're young, and uh, fortunately they probably haven't had to do this that much. And you know you get my age, and it seems like you've done it quite a bit, but uh, it, but it never gets any easier, uh, and especially when you've got to come out and perform like they had to. In, in front of all the, this crowd. And for all these people on a Thanksgiving weekend on a pretty miserable day to come out and support those girls, I thought was a, also a, a great showing of, of the OSU spirit. Anything else? Probably want to talk to a coach about basketball, don't you? <laughs> or the players. But uh, I'm glad we got this one in, and, uh, and I think uh, we'll just keep persevering and uh, we're excited about the season and uh, uh, just appreciative of, uh, of all the interest so, and all the fans. Thank you.